Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. For today's video I've prepared 4 new DIY macrame ideas. Easy to make decorations which will add unique touch to your space. So without any further ado, let's get right into the first project. To create this table mat or big coaster, you will need one 800cm long piece and one 200cm long piece. I'm using 5mm thick cotton cord. With these two pieces of cord I will create a very long strap made out of square knots. I fold each cord in half, overlap them in the middle point and start creating square knots. The 200cm long piece stays in the middle, the longer piece is the working cord. At first it's a little bit harder to make the knots as the cord is loose. Once you make few of them you will be able to tape them to your worktop. It's quite easy and repetitive project. However, if you're new to macrame technique and notes, check out my other video where I explain step by step all basic notes. I will leave the link to it in the description box. I continue creating uh, the square notes all the way down. Try to make them straight and the same width. Once the whole strap is ready, I start wrapping into like a snail shape. I choose the nicer sides for the front and I sew it from the back. I use same color of thread, but when it's done properly, you shouldn't see it from the front anyway. It's better to sew it more than less. I keep wrapping it around and sew together small parts at the time. Make sure it lays flat. Once the square knots have finished, I make a strong knot with the thread and cut the excess off. I untwist all the remaining cords and connect them together by creating a gathering knot. I brush it and trim to the same length. If you want, you can make it even bigger by making both of the coats longer. This is super easy and quick project which will make your dining table look more elegant and stylish. All you need is a wooden ring and a 120 cm long piece of 3 mm thick macrame cord. But you can also use different thickness. I pull the cord through the ring and have its center touching the ring. Now the ring works um, as the middle cord when creating the square knot. Once I overlap the cords, I pull it through the ring hole and through the loop. 
the ring is sort of slippery so you uh, have to tighten the knot strongly For my ring I've created 10 square knots, if you want you can go all the way around, I just like the combination of wood and macrame cord. To finish it off I make simple knot inside the ring and cut the excess cord off. If you worry it's going to unwrap you can glue the cord ends to the rest of the design. This project looks more complicated than it actually is. To create coaster, I will use one 300 cm long piece of 5 mm thick rope. I'm using rope as it's stiffer than cord. The hardest part is to start, then you just follow the lines. I try to slowly show you how to do it. It's better to just follow my moves than trying to understand what I say. I believe this design is called Turk's Head Knot. You can always have printed design and follow it, pin the rope to the board, but I'm going with the flow and don't use any of these. It might be slightly harder, but it's doable. Just hold the other parts of the rope when pulling its end. At first I create the outside edge of the star shape. This is the outside line of the coaster, so you can roughly judge how big it's going to be. But if you make it too big and then run out of the rope to finish it off, um, that's not a problem. All you have to do is to go from the beginning of the cord and pull gently each curved point in. Once the basic shape is done, I just follow the line. If the first one goes under, I put it under, then above and so on. And the new rope goes uh, more to the inside. It looks messy at the moment, but trust me, it will get its shape soon. That's why if you worry about this mess and that you will mix it up, use the pins. From 300 cm long piece I can make 4 rows. I think this is the right size for the coaster. I've also created coaster from 200 cm long piece and I would say it's slightly too small. It fits the cup but the bigger one is safer to use.
To finish it off, I glue the rope ends to the back of the coaster and cut the excess off. You can also sew them if you prefer. It's a really an expensive way to protect your table in a stylish way. Once you know how to start it, each coaster is easier to make. To create last project, you don't really need a lot of macrame skills. I start with cutting six pieces of cord, any thickness and braid them. I use six instead of three as I think it creates more interesting look. This braid is the first part of decoration for this cushion cover. I cut another piece of cord and add wooden beads on it. Between each bead I'm adding short piece of cord and attach it with lark's head knot. Then I untwist the cords, brush them and trim them to the same length. To attach these decoration parts to the cushion, you can glue them or sew them at the back. I would slightly overwrap them with the cushion edge for better finish. Quick idea if you want to change the look of plain cushion cover. Let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite. Don't forget about my playlist which is full of macrame project. And if you enjoyed this video make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more ideas. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.